Hey everyone, so here I am. So today's video, I wanna talk about emulation on the analog pocket. So with emulation, what I'm gonna be referring to, I'm gonna be showing you, for example, how it works, runs on something like the Easy Flash or the EverDrive. Now my EverDrive is gonna have more of the emulation items than my Easy Flash. My Easy Flash just have Game Boy Color, but they're essentially the same when it comes to emulation. So what I've seen a lot of questions usually pertaining around, hey, I got an EverDrive GBA X5. Now I know I can do emulation. How does it look? Is it, should I just get the, for example, Easy Flash Junior or the EverDrive GB X7 or one of the other ones to play the Game Boy games because you know, they want to play all the games and sometimes just having it on EverDrive does make it more convenient. But there are some drawbacks to playing Game Boy games on an analog pocket or for, for that matter, anything else. Well, actually, it's more, more predominantly for the analog pocket is where you're going to have a drawback. Now, you might not have this drawback on, for example, something like the Boxy Pixel or any modded Game Boy Advance that you have. So this particular drawback, you're gonna see it more on the analog pocket than the modded Game Boy Advance or SPs or whatever you have that can play Game Boy games other than the analog pocket. So without further ado, I'm gonna just show you a couple of things and let's get the video. First, like and subscribe to the channel. I can make more of these and that way I can show everybody what I have. So let's get into it. All right, so first, I just want to do a couple explanations. I'm sure people already know this. this is not anything uh, surprising. If you've ever played a Game Boy game on a Game Boy Advance or SP, you'll notice the aspect ratio, it shrinks it down to here. This is how it looks, okay? You're going to have these black bars on the side. It doesn't fill the whole screen unless you press the, was it the, le the left click, which then is stretched out. So this is not ideal, but this is how gameplay usually is on the Game Boy Advance and SP. Granted, this is the only ones you can play it on. You can't play it on, for example, the DS, DS Lite, or even the Game Boy Advance uh, Micro because they've removed that option. So you can only play Game Boy Color games using an emulator such as EverDrive, which I'm gonna show you now. So let me show you how it looks when you run a Game Boy game on here. So let's just do, let's go to Game Boy, let's do Game Boy Color. Let's see, let's do Donkey Kong or yeah, Donkey Kong Country. So you can tell here, lower the volume a bit. Okay, there you go. So you can tell it's gonna have black bars all around. Okay, this is just how it's gonna look when you're playing Game Boy Color game emulated on the Game Boy, I'm sorry, on the analog pocket. There's really no way to fill this in. That's it. Now, you could try doing some setting, some setting changes, for example, let's go to systems, GBA. You can try this, but it's not, it's never gonna fully fill it in. Okay, so let's, Okay, it's gonna be videos, size positions. So you can see it's already maxed out on the width. There's no changing that. Now you can try maxing this part out here, which will just essentially stretch it out. You can reposition this. Now you can bring this up. So this is literally probably as good as you are gonna get it, which doesn't look great in my opinion. It's just stretched out long. You do, you, you can't fill it out this way, which is pretty much what people are, are looking to do. So let me just re reset back to default. That way it looks better. So this is pretty much how it would look. So in a second, I'm gonna show you a comparison side by side. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just show you the comparison now. All right, so here you can see it side by side. On the left, you're gonna have the EverDrive playing the Game Boy emulator. On the right, it's gonna be actual Easy Flash Junior. So immediately you can tell the difference and the biggest difference is the screen ratio. Now this, as I mentioned already, cannot be fixed by just adjusting 
these screen dimensions. This is just how it's gonna be if you're gonna play an emulator on an EverDrive or Easy Flash. So just keep that in mind. And as I mentioned before, the Easy Flash or EverDrive, they'll play it much better than an emulator could. So just keep that in mind. If you're thinking of getting something like the Easy Flash, Omega, or EverDrive just to play emulators and your Game Boy Advance games. So if you're thinking it's gonna be a perfect fit, it might not, but if that doesn't matter to you, then hey, then this will work and fit your needs. All right, so that being said, there's nothing wrong with it if you don't mind that. Me personally, I prefer to have a full screen, but hey, if you honestly don't care and that extra $100 doesn't really make it, you know, doesn't really matter to you, so then it's not a big deal. And it might not be a big deal for everyone specifically. So for me, I prefer it, but hey, look, each their own now when it comes to this you can also have different different um emulators on the everdrive and the easy flash they work very similar but let me show you some of the features you will get when you play it now granted emulation is not always perfect you will have issues when you're using an emulator versus something like the easy flash or or everdrive now, obviously these are not perfect themselves. There are plenty of issues with that right now with the analog pocket. But that being said, you know, you, 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 pick, you pick and choose. So one of the drawbacks you'll have from using something like an emulator, for example, is the lack of a real-time clock. For example, now this will primarily affect more people who are gonna be playing like Pokemon Gold, Crystal, uh, what else? Um, silver, those type of games. Now, the same things will happen if you play. Hey, look, see, so you, have, you have glitches here and there. This is very normal when you have emulators. Not all emulators are going to run perfectly, as you can see. This is supposed to be standard crystal version, but it looks like it's not pretty at all. So, like I said, emulation is not perfect but it does make it playable. Now, when you use emulators, for example, you'll have options like this. See, so you can, you'll have save states, even though the analog does have save states itself, but you do have save states that you can use. And yeah, you do have stuff like that. Now the exit, it doesn't work really, it just takes you back here and look how glitchy it looks. It looks really glitchy. That's definitely not how it's supposed to look. So you usually have to restart it. And that's some of the issues you'll have with, with the EverDrive. Now, you will have similar issues with the Easy Flash. The Easy Flash is not anything perfect either. On top of the issues that people are currently having with the Easy Flash. Some of the cool parts you might see is, let's go to, let's go to Game Boy. Okay, so one of the other things you'll notice for example, let's do red. Now red on a Game Boy a Game Boy Advance, for example, will show it in color. And on this emulation, it does show it in some type of color. Might not be perfect, but it does show it in color. As opposed to when you play the other version, it shows it in black and white, unless you apply a patch to it, which is a different store, which is Definitely possible. Now it's cool that at least it'll try and fill in the borders for this one. I believe this is a Game Boy, a Super Game Boy for the Super Nintendo, which usually filled in the borders. Now, this doesn't mean that they're not playable. A lot of these games are very much playable. You just won't be able to get that full screen experience that some people want. But hey, like I mentioned before, if it doesn't matter, then hey, it doesn't matter. Now, Sometimes some of these items will also be able to play ROM hacks. Let's see if some of these ROM hacks will play. Let's use green. So this right here is a green translator version of Pokemon Green. So this is English now. But it doesn't look perfect. This is not how it looks when you play it on the EverDrive or the Easy Flash. It looks much better than this. But that might be only issues you have in the intro scenes, cutscenes, anything like that is where those some of those issues might have. So, okay, let's 
Now I want to show you some other emulators and some of the not playability with emulators. Just because it has emulators on it doesn't mean that it's playable. I've mentioned this before and some other stuff, but um, yeah, let's just go through it again. That way, the way everybody can see what the emulators look like. You can tell immediately the sound on this one is the Neo Geo is not great. This is where if you really are a big Neo Geo fan, do not rely on this EverDrive to play it. This is not gonna play, this is not really playable. Not too sure what was the point of even putting it there, having this ability to do it, because it's really not using user-friendly. So let's see if it lets me. Yeah, keep getting the camera. There we go. Uh, wow, this is really slow. One. Yeah, as you can tell, this is by the sounds. Not really playable. And so it does have the same um, setup. So definitely recommend, you know, the analog pocket can't play with the Neo Geo with the adapters. Let's go, let's see. You hear from the music, how slow it's going. Yeah, this is really not playable at all. Wow, this is really bad. It takes forever just to get this far. Is there even a speed hack? No speed, all right. Yeah, this is really not playable at all <laughs> yes I, I don't recommend the Geo if you're gonna just play it on the everdrive I recommend you get the adapters and I believe there's an everdrive for Neo Geo I'm not 100% sure so don't quote me on that one now I didn't believe I didn't believe I had any issues with the master system one let's see this one didn't give me too much issues let's see and this one actually covers the full length covers a full lamp, so this is not that bad to see. Okay. Sounds pretty smooth. Yeah, master system seems to be better. So this is this one's not too bad of a of an emulator. And I like the fact that at least with this one here, it'll cover the the full length of the Game Boy Advance screen. Unlike the Game Boy and the Neo Geo, which don't. That's mostly due to the aspect ratio. Okay, so that's cool. That works just fine. And try one more for you. Let's see. I think we'll. I think I have NES somewhere here. Let's do. No, let's go for a classic. I know we have it here. Super Mario's. There we go. Okay. Obviously, Nintendo's. This one's gonna work just fine, considering how old it is, and it does cover the full length. See, look, it works just fine. So Nintendo works just fine as well. So keep that in mind. It looks really good. The color looks good. So, it's also something to consider. So, out of everything I've seen, the best ones are gonna be Nintendo, obviously NES, uh, Sega Master System, and Game Boy Color seem to be the best emulators. Avoid Neo Geo at any cost, since it will not run well. Okay, so let's see something else. All right, so here I put in the Easy Flash Omega. This is not the definitive edition, this is the regular edition that came out a couple years ago. And um, so I'm gonna try the Game Boy Color games. It's gonna be pretty much the same, and the NES stuff. So I don't have I don't have much Sega Master System here. I didn't put that in, but it would run just fine, just like the Easy Flash. Now this obviously has the same screen ratio as 
the EverDrive, as you can tell. Exactly the same. It would have filled in the entire screen if you were using Easy Flash Junior or EverDrive uh, GBX7 if it works on yours. Because they don't work on everybody's. So, it's the same. Now, you're going to have similar issues. But one thing I will say, with the Easy Flash, you can actually, I believe you can actually exit. So, I couldn't exit with the EverDrive. It would just restart the game. So, let's see if this actually works. Now, see? So, with the Easy Flash, it will actually exit and take you back to the, the, uh, the home screen. Which is pretty good, considering that the EverDrive doesn't do that. And now there are some very good benefits to using EverDrive versus, sorry, the Easy Flash versus the EverDrive, such as stuff like that. And let me just try another game, which we know had issues with the EverDrive. Let's see how it works here. Crystal. Crystal gave me some issues color-wise. Well, it looks like it. Oh no, no, same issues. So it's going to be mostly because of the the emulator. They're both using the same exact uh, Goomba color emulator, so it's gonna be the exact same type. Now, like I mentioned, it's pretty good that you can, and you might be able to play around with some of the settings, but I, I like the, the fact that you can at least, you know, put it, go back to the menu. But you can put it to sleep. It doesn't do much. This is how it's gonna look, so it's not really going to sleep. Oh, no, look, it actually crashed. So sleep mode, does not look like it. Oh, no, okay, so it does come back. You gotta press start and select, let's see. Okay, start and select brings it back from sleep mode. Not that sleep mode does anything, is the screen is still on. It might actually do something else on the actual Game Boy, but this one, not so much. Maybe I will try that in a second, let me see. So let's go back. That's one of the biggest benefits I would say you would have over the EverDrive. And I believe it's, yep, same full screen for Nintendo, for NES, as it probably would be for the Sega Master System. Covers the full screen, and you get the same options. It's because it's pocket NES emulator. You have save states, you just hit exit, go right back to where it was. All right, so that's how it looks with the Ever, sorry, with the Easy Flash. The EverDrive is very similar to it. Just curious if this will work just fine here. Let's see, I know it does not fit there. All right, so one last thing, I wanna do a little bonus. Let's check out how small this would look on the on the uh, Game Boy Advance Micro. This thing is already tiny as it is. If you just look at it compared to the analog pocket, this thing is very tiny. Just for fun, let's put in a Game Boy Color game and see how small this can get. I already know it can get small, so let's see. Yeah, it's really small. Whoa. Yeah, so uh, if you have a Game Boy Micro, it's cool you can play all these things, but uh, get if you need glasses, you're gonna need the glasses to see this. Ooh, the sound, you heard that sound, did not sound great. You have to get really close to get a good view on this thing. This thing is tiny. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel.